So here's the example. We have this function 4 plus x cubed plus y cubed minus 3xy. We need to find and classify all the critical points associated with this function. This is a, uh, this is a surface. You can, you can treat it as you can set up z equal uh, f of x, y. And so now this becomes three dimensional. Um, and uh, the, the surface level will be uh, f of x, y equals k. For instance, for a certain value of z, then we have a, we have a, a surface level. Uh, but let's take it from here. Let's find out first uh, an expression for the gradient, and then we'll try to zero it, to make it zero. So the partial derivative with respect to x, well, that would be 3x squared minus 3y, right? The partial derivative with respect to y would be 3y squared minus uh, 3x. So we have a little bit of a symmetry here. Uh, but also, in order to do the second derivative test, bless you, we might as well go ahead and take the second order partial derivative. So fxx would be 6x minus uh, 0. fyy would be 6y minus 0. And fxy, if the second uh, order partial derivative are continuous, then fxy will be the same as fyx. So here's f, a, f sub x, or the left the left, so take derivative with respect to y, you get a negative 3. Here's the left the y, take the derivative with respect to x, you get negative 3. And we can see that, we know that uh, those functions are continuous because they are polynomials. So we got all the component here. Let's first find which values lead to uh, the gradient equal zero. So the first condition, the critical point, will be obtained by uh, the gradient of f of x, y equal zero. Uh, and this is a v zero vo vector. Each component is to equal zero. So the first component is not, I'm sorry, not f of x, but f sub x, or the partial, the left, the legs. That's why I like to write it, the left, the legs, but I already written it as f sub x. I'll keep it this way. Okay, this required that 3x squared minus 3y equals 0, and this required that y equals x squared. Huh, okay, I can live with that. We have a relation here. And the partial derivative with respect to y equals 0. Well, this required that 3y squared minus 3x equals 0, but y is x squared. So it means that uh, if I substitute uh, or replace y with x squared, we have 3x squared squared minus 3x equals 0. All right. I can see that I can factor 3x out of this. So 3x, and what's left is x cubed minus 1 equals 0. We have two solutions here. One solution <coughs> uh, is x equal 0, and the other is x equals 1. Okay, so if x equals zero and, and uh, x equals one, then we have critical point of the following uh, values. When x equals zero, so is y, right? And when x equals one, y equals one squared. So we have zero, zero, and one, one. So we have two, and we need now to classify. So we, we accomplished the first task, is finding critical numbers or critical points. Now we need to, to classify. So classification. So we'll run the second derivative test. And what is, um, the, what are the partial derivative? Well, 
we have, where is it, in the previous page? Oh, I was a little bit premature. So let's try first. Uh, let's see, what is the determinant? D equals fxx times fyy minus fxy squared, like so. So in our case, will be 6x times uh, 6y minus uh, negative 3 squared. So we're looking at 36xy minus 9. Okay? And now, so we have an expression for the determinant, and we can proceed just by replacing uh, values. So let's see, what is d at 0, 0? Well, at 0, 0, we have uh, 0 minus negative 9. So it's negative. So we can say we know that we have a subtle point. We have condition 3. So subtle point at 0, 0. And now let's check out 1, 1. Uh, D at 1, 1 equal 36 minus 9 and we know it's positive. Okay, what about um, fxx at 1, 1? Okay, f, uh, fxx at 1, 1 is um, it was 6x, right? Equals 6, it's positive, so the con the conclusion that we have a relative minimum at 1, 1. So we found the two critical numbers and we classify that. Uh, we classified each, I'm sorry, critical point. I keep saying critical numbers because uh, normally in, in Calc 1, we we're looking just for the uh, for the x value, and the x value was a critical number. The point is the x y value. Anyway, uh, let me uh, let me sketch a graph of the surface and show you the saddle point and the relative minimum. Not, I'm not going to sketch it by hand. That that's ridiculous. That uh, even somebody with uh, artistic skills. So what I'll do, I'll use I'll use uh, Maple to 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 graph it. All right. So let me open Maple, and uh, and we'll see if we can look at these. Uh